Okay. The session of this morning with uh, a talk by Charlie Lombardi on a constructive, a geometric theory for the constructive real number system and for combinatorial structures. I'm curious about combinatorial structures. So there's only one slide. <laughs> Several references. In fact, the work is a joint work with Asia Marubi, which is an expert in talk. He knows very well uh, implementations uh, of real numbers in talk. And the paper is based on a dynamical algebra. Which is a, the, the first. Uh, Paper in this series coming up in uh, Michel Cost and my Francois Dura. In fact, it was submitted uh, in 1996, but uh, I've been some problems with the uh, since the uh, process. So I stop the slides here. Did I uh, succeed? So I have two main problems. The first one is uh, what is a circus field? And the second is uh, what is a uh, so uh, there is a theory of a real proceed, but a very nice theory of real proceed, uh, but with a discreteness, so the same test. And so this, this theory doesn't work for the number system. So we are lacking of a good description of, of a, what is a good axiomatization for the algebra of the real number system. We try to answer this question. And the, this question is very close to giving a constructive description of the problem of the so the general uh, uh, context is uh, constructive mathematics, bishop constructive mathematics. Uh, why? Because it is a very minimized foundation. And uh, it is written in the usual mathematical language. So it's very convincing. And also, what Bishop proves is always uh, true in uh, Russian constructivism or in uh, classical mathematics. So Bishop gives uh, an algorithmic content of uh, all theorems, he, all theorems in, in his book. Uh, in fact, are algorithm, constructing the conclusion from the hypothesis. But we want to uh, we want to avoid the human choice. Um, I will explain why. And uh, we want to avoid the negation. Negation. Uh, is a, for me a very difficult thing. Uh, the silence infini, this is a space in French. In French, uh, I am afraid by uh, the near, the nowhere, non existence. So, and the uh, uh, way of avoiding negation is to use the dynamical algebra. Because in dynamical algebra, uh, you have no. Uh, 
no implication. So you, you can have false, but you have no, this is not allowed. You cannot construct this one. Except if A is decibel. But when A is not decibel, you can calculate what? You cannot use this. You cannot define this. So now I speak uh, about the dynamic approaches. <coughs> it is a purely computational. of geometric theories. Uh, geometric theories come from a categorical algebra and they are strongly related to Gothenburg topos. But in geometric theories, you have uh, only some kind of actions, but you have all formulas. So uh, it becomes complicated. In dynamical algebra, you have a, 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 a very simple form of action, more uh, yeah, for existing actions, and no other actions. And you, you don't introduce uh, more complicated, you do not introduce complicated formula. The only formulas are formulas are atomic. Atomic formula. So perhaps I give some examples. We take the uh, theory of commutative rings. So you have a unary PK and you have a plus or minus multiplication zero and one. This is a language language, and the axioms are zero to zero. So there is no implication, there are rules. Mm -hmm. And you, perhaps you are a little bit disturbed because there is no associativity, compatibility. The, the usual rules of the uh, commutative rings are dealt with the exterior of the theory. We, if you give the generator of G's, you, you, are, you are in the ring Z of G. Hmm? The, the free ring generated by G. And so uh, you compute in this ring. These, in fact, are only the, if you see, the axioms of ideals. So you are taking the uh, quotient uh, ring of the free ring. So, uh, for purely uh, equational algebra, the theory is uh, very uh, similar to the classical algebra. Okay. Now we add uh, some uh, other actions, for example, local rings. What is this action? You see, uh, we we have a sum of existential, but it's not the 
system of equations on a commutative ring, it is sufficient to solve this linear system of equations at all localizations mm -hmm. of this commutative ring. So you have to consider all parameters and all localizations. If for all localizations you are able to solve the linear system, then you can solve the linear system. This is very abstract term, and but very useful. And uh, in this setting, is uh, only the following thing. It is, uh, you have a commutative ring. Uh, deal with this commutative ring as if it was a local ring. So you have this action. If you are able to solve the linear system with adding this action, then you are able to solve the linear system without adding this action. It is a purely syntactic transformation. <coughs> So we have a very abstract term saying C at all localization at all times, and it becomes a very simple thing saying uh, add this axiom and uh, try to solve this thing. Uh, in this case, the Y or the Z is a unique command. The but there are also uh, other kinds of actions with uh, non unicity. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, arithmetical ring. Uh, this is uh, the following. Uh, in, a, in a classical setting, uh, we see, we say, any finite leg generated angle is locally. And uh, in, the, in this uh, in dynamic algebra, we, we have the following uh, equivalent action. Uh, when you have uh, two generated uh, ideas generated by A and B, uh, I have ST UV such that S is equal to 1, ST all the B. So, 
you see that uh, when you invert S, the, the, the ideal AB is generated by B. Because, A, because S is an integral. And when you invert T, the ideal AB is generated by A. So, this is a very abstract uh, thing. Local principle means after localization at any parallel becomes a very simple thing. Hmm? Okay, so now we have a Dodekin domain. Uh, what is Dodekin? Um, uh, Kruffer domain. <coughs> it is a domain which is uh, a digital. Uh, commas are constants, yeah. But we see not as a as a new formula with the convention. We see it as a list of uh, atomic forms. So we have the, the, the axiom for domain, which is uh, x y equals zero. In fact, uh, this is a uh, this is uh, without the result. So, in, uh, in constructive algebra, uh, there is a slight uh, distinction between uh, without the result and uh, domain. Domain is uh, every element is uh, zero or regular. So, in uh, if you want uh, really to to, to say domain in dynamical algebra, you have to add a, a new predicate, predicate uh, non zero, and uh, to put this, this predicate in order that uh, uh, it means regular. So you have, you have the axioms x So you have this predicate and these actions. And now we have a domain. Here we have only a without the result thing. In classical algebra, there are the same thing. But uh, in constructive algebra, the two things are distinct and uh, the distinction is uh, relevant. And so uh, it is very, uh, this has a very nice translation in dynamical algebra. So this action becomes a uh, any element is zero or regular. This is domain. But if you don't add uh, this new predicate, you are not able to translate exactly uh, domain uh, in the meaning of uh, constructive algebra. I, I have written with uh, my colleague uh, Scott Kitte uh, 1,000 pages of a book of commutative algebra, constructive commutative algebra, without negation, and it is much more inspired by dynamic algebra. But, uh, in fact, we don't uh, use uh, dynamic algebra because uh, the usual machines are applied by model. Mm -hmm. But this is without <laughs> it is only computational rules. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this is a good framework for doing algebra. And, uh, since uh, we are trying to describe the algebra of a real number, we, we try to, to find what are the, uh, the rules that are uh, validated for the real number mm -hmm. <coughs> without scientists. Yes. Uh, also, I have to say that the uh, dynamic algebra, first of all, uh, dynamical algebra structure uh, 
So you give a dynamic theory. And you give Denatov. And you give a set of relations. So it is a, a non computely specified uh, algebraic structure. For example, you take a ring and you, you say, but I see this ring with a, as a field. So you have an action. And uh, this is a you can compute uh, in a ring as it was a field with axons of field, and you find interesting things. Mm -hmm. But you, you, the, the, the structure is not uh, well defined; it's only uncomputed, and it is very, uh, very risky. Um, relation with the uh, deduction. This can be seen as the first step of natural deduction. In fact, in, we, inside this, this, this framework, we can add a conjunction of formulas without uh, changing anything. We can add a disjunction of formulas, and you can add existential. And uh, no, there is no, no difference. But it is more uh, often more convenient to don't introduce new formulas. But you are not able to introduce implication. So uh, the famous uh, strange uh, thing as t implies q implies r, what is the, what is the meaning in uh, algebraic k interpretation? It's not so clear. So th this problem will appear hmm? because we cannot uh, define t implies q hmm? inside this framework. So this is the beginning of natural deduction without implication. And uh, there is a fundamental term uh, saying that uh, if you have the classical logic, you don't change anything. Mm -hmm. You don't, uh, you have a conservative extension. If you add classical logic, you get a conservative extension. It's not a difficult term. It is a kind of cut elimination with cutting this setting is rather easy. So this explains why uh, so many uh, classical algebra is in fact constructed. Because if you are able to express uh, things in a dynamic way, you are constructed. Even if you have the service with you, that it doesn't change. How do you express excluded if you don't have negations? Ah, when, uh, when I say I add classical logic, uh, this means the following. Uh, for any predicate P, I am allowed to uh, introduce a new, a new predicate P, P of with its two actions. So adding for predicate P its two actions doesn't change uh, uh, valid rules where not P doesn't appear. It's a conservative extension. And also uh, a strange uh, uh, result is that scholarization is also is very, and the proof for it seems very simple by a flight of common design. And uh, it is not so big, but uh, they have a very simple proof. So scholarization, which, uh, which is similar, which uh, has a flavor of uh, choice, is a very simple transformation. If you, had, uh, if you have replaced uh, all the uh, Existence by its colonization, you have a conservative extension. 
So when you are first order, it's a kind of axiom, not infinitary geometric theory. Uh, uh, this, this kind of thing is exactly the, the same thing that uh, current rotundic topos. Rotundic topos has not invented the topos in order to make constructive algebra, but current rotundic topos are exactly the same thing as the dynamic Now we have to, to say two words about infinitary. <coughs> so, for example, uh, you are you have a dynamical uh, theory for natural numbers, so it's not the theorem, it's not the theorem, but you, you have a dynamic theory for natural numbers, and you want to say that all natural numbers are the natural numbers. So you have the axioms So you have the omega mu, adding this action. And so the, the landscape is very uh, different from the first of the case, because uh, uh, the external uh, the external set theory the external becomes very uh, relevant here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when you add, when you use these axioms, you, you have to say, uh, in order to prove something uh, that R, I have to prove uh, for all. So if you have all these proofs, you can use uh, this one. Mm -hmm. So this is omega one. And, uh, the Mirage rule has not the same flavor in classical mathematics and So, adding this kind of axiom changes uh, uh, very, uh, very strongly the landscape, but uh, infinitary geometric theories are very useful. In particular, if you want to speak about dedicating domains and not special domains. You can do this in an uh, infinitary geometric uh, process. Mm -hmm. And uh, in classical uh, categorical logic, uh, infinitary geometric theories correspond to uh, general geometric process. Mm -hmm. But with, uh, with infinite actions, we, we are able to speak about flatness, about uh, many uh, concepts which are very useful in algebra and uh, which are not possible. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is that uh, it is only sufficient to add this kind of infinite actions. Mm -hmm. It is a very limited uh, addition. So this was the first part of my talk about the dynamic algebra. Ah, I have to say that materiality is not geometric. So uh, materiality. So you take a usual <laughs> book of the algebra. I cannot so cannot uh, do this. But uh, in fact, uh, if you take uh, my book of geometry, there is quasi no materiality. No, is agreed by other geometrical concepts. There, there is also a, a kind of a ex extension theorem saying that if you use inside the theory classical logic, then you get a conservative extension. This is called the bar with two R theorem. <laughs> and uh, the proof is very mysterious. And uh, 
the, we have also to say exactly what is the meaning of uh, doing uh, classical logic only inside the format of not outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the bar theorem has not uh, has no consequences, but it is a good, uh, good one for intuition. You will see a theorem of a one. Ah. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is provable by, by classical manipulation. Uh, using not so, uh, not so external things, uh, and so you can put this proof inside the geometric theory, and it becomes uh, uh, probably without uh, classical logic. But there is a fact of experience that is uh, there is no actual. In the first of the case, <coughs> so now um, I can speak about about. <laughs> So in fact, we have uh, in mind uh, the real number systems. Uh, there are many real number systems in mathematics. Uh, or, for example, the real number system of primitive recursive uh, real numbers, which is much more international. And also with polynomial time uh, real numbers. And we want to, to give a good uh, constructive description in a dynamical uh, context. So when you have a discrete order field, you have a uh, three predicates and uh, plus minus. <coughs> so you you have a all uh, usual actions you can imagine, imagine with this kind of things. So you have a direct axiom uh, constructing, uh, for example, you have a, you see this, uh, you have seen this thing, but we have also actually kind of actions uh, which are very direct, you, 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 construct, uh, uh, you construct terms that are surely uh, strictly positive. Mm -hmm. And uh, after, after you have uh, dynamic actions, so you have to say that uh, an element has a sign. And uh, also, um, this is, uh, and also, uh, but this is not, uh, this is not problematic.
So uh, this is uh, satisfied by the number system. Uh, yeah. And uh, these are not satisfied. This is a uh, LFBO. This is a BO for the number system. So you, you can uh, add these actions. You, you add. So what you do is first uh, add uh, simplification rules. Valid for R and throw uh, away the two bad actions, and you can uh, add something of this time, which is a dichotomy law in Pascal, in constructive law. So you 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 are you are here in a, a first uh, acceptable theory of order of field without any text. But uh, uh, normally uh, there is a eighteen action. Eighteen action says that you not. Know, But this is not dynamic. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we cannot use this active action. And you, you try to, to see uh, what we have to add in order to not add this. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, problem is uh, so, oh, this is uh, in order field, uh, in order field. Uh, in order field uh, any uh, uh, non discrete order field, we have to add this uh, symbol, this function of symbol. And uh, it is probable that in the theory we have uh, with making action, this kind of thing cannot be defined. So it is impossible to, to have a evidence of that. So the section which defines in the suit is not provable. Even if you have a section for theory with transform armor, dynamic theory is possible. So this was a question that I had to Jake around. There is no proof of this. So you have to add this. So what we, we get is a F ring. It is called a F ring. And also, uh, we have to add some, some kinds of. A, when you have a, in a real number, Then you, you can define the uh, part of the hmm? The function which is uh, on the color, hmm? the function which is uh, uh, which is defined when a is strictly positive and b is strictly positive, can be uh, uh, prolonged. And extend it uh, to a continuous action. Mm -hmm. So uh, this kind is, ca is called the convexity action in the classical literature. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you also to, in order to have unicity, I think you have to, to ask that in the, this kind. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is appearing? It is, it is appearing that uh, uh, we 
we are more interested by continuous functions than by points. So, uh, adding uh, this uh, soup and adding this kind of uh, actions, we have a more or less uh, uh, good description of non-discrete order T. Mm -hmm. Now we have to add the uh, real closing axles. And uh, for example, uh, you have this kind of, uh, of things. Stated by Bishop uh, is dependent choice. But you, you see that uh, something uh, strange up here. Here you have a choice, uh, there's two or three. Mm -hmm. But when the polynomial evolves, uh, mm -hmm. varies. Perhaps this, this kind, this uh, remains true, but this uh, remains false. So perhaps uh, uh, this remains true, but this one remains false. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, uh, have to. <laughs> yeah. you, you can draw the picture. Clearly, X doesn't depend continuously on A, B, and P. So, uh, uh, what is the problem? The problem is that uh, when you you are you are in a computer and you are, you are implementing this axiom, this uh, this proof of the shop, you at certain moments you can hesitate. <laughs> a triple root. So hesitate. You, you are not exactly uh, clear what happens. And so perhaps uh, you say, uh, I see three zeros, potential zeros here. And after, uh, perhaps uh, when the precision is very, very, very high, you see only one zero here, or perhaps only one zero here. So it is discontinuous. Uh, the algorithm <coughs> exists, but it depends on the way you have given the coefficients. Mm -hmm. Because the same real numbers as question can be given in uh, different ways. And so, uh, we don't want this action. Mm -hmm. This is dependent choice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have invented the method of real numbers. In order that uh, when a real would disappear, this is the philosophy, uh, replace it by the root of the zero. So if it's a double root, it disappears, but uh, uh, if it's a double root, uh, the 
negative simple root, clearly defined. Mm? This is a, the idea, and I'll to, to make uh, things precise, but with virtual roots, a monic polynomial. Of the big N as N continues into its relying virtual nest the virtual root of the reality. So uh, what becomes uh, this uh, axiom is uh, the What becomes that uh, uh, so it's nested? Nested, yeah. The so what do you mean? Zeros of the are here. Ah, okay. okay. And the zeros of the polynomial here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what becomes this term? It, it becomes a term saying that if you put all the virtual roots and uh, if uh, you force them to be inside the form, then you, the product is zero. Hmm? So I have now located the, the size root, but you have only a finite number of potential roots, and one of these is a so So, there's a little bit of and a convexity action. Kind of thing. Uh, we'll cover exactly. Near post me to the end of the fiscal year. So, could you just say a little bit about what is a virtual root? Or is it is a continuous function which is well defined when you use the numbers and uh, with uh, axioms that uh, say this kind of things. Okay. Yeah. You, you have a lot of axioms in order to define the uh, virtual uh, roots. And yeah. What you say one virtual is you have one function for one virtual or one virtual? Yes. We have, have an n function for each degree. For each degree, degree you have n functions. There are n virtual roots yes. and, and the, the are function of the question. Okay. Telling you where the roots are. Yeah. Yeah, the, the roots are. <laughs> there is so many axioms that you can, you can see where the roots, the virtual roots are. In fact, the virtual roots are counted by you know for it. We don't invention for this, but you know for it can count exactly. So, uh, so what is uh, in this kind of uh, framework near uh, close speed results and test? It is a real closed uh, ring plus uh, the axon uh, x plus zero. It is not an axon for, it is not good for. Uh, the theory of uh, Real closing is completely uh, algebraic. It is only a question. So, in fact, we are guided by a following idea.
fire in a simple way. And uh, asking to Michel Cost to discover that uh, there is a very nice uh, simple, simple, simple way of description, much more simple than uh, our description. It says the following thing If you have to, if uh, a semi algebraic continuous function Rn to R in classical mathematics, so you have sign test. Then you yeah. it is always described by the prolongation, uh, the extension by continuity of semi algebraic continuous function on the level of algebraic numbers. So this is a discrete field cost field. There is no problem in this construction mathematics. And uh, is it, uh, what is the link? The link is that there exists uh, this one next P. So it's that F. Continuous, uh, so locally uniformly continuous. So you can extend to to the real number system, and after you, you take parameters, you fix these parameters, and you, you get the. So in classical mathematics, there is a very very simple description. So. Uh, what we are trying to prove that uh, our setting is the same thing as the uh, not so clear for the moment. So uh, our paper is a work in progress with the same of the Does there are many questions without uh, clear answer? Uh, in general, the questions are clear answer in classical mathematics, uh, not a clear answer. So, in order to best uh, understand, we have a tie in the last part of the table. Try uh, only to describe uh, real numbers or commutative recursive real numbers or polynomial numbers, but try to describe uh, semi algebraic distinction is the one. Mm -hmm. So you add source. Uh, the first theory has only one source, the source of the graph. And the, the big toy has a sort of each tendency. And you, you have a, to, to say dynamically that the, the function is a continuous, uniform continuous. When you see, uh, when you try to write this thing with uh, only real numbers, you don't uh, are able to give a dynamical rule saying that the function is. 
But uh, adding the sorts for these kind of things, you add also sorts for modulus of continuity and other sorts, and uh, you get a priori a uh, rather good description of uh, so kind of point three uh, description of value and because you are only interested by uh, functions and not by uh, points. Mm -hmm. you, you can see that functions are points in another space, but <laughs> it is much more satisfying. And uh, we hope that the axioms uh, will be sufficiently precise in order to describe exactly what should be a knowing aspect. But I have no time for describing knowing aspect. Perhaps I, I say the classical definition of knowing aspect here. The classical definition is a uh, real cosmic. And for each n set of definable subsets. And the axioms are very similar to things that are uh, satisfied by a semi algebraic set. Uh, you have a semi algebraic set of good. Uh, any set is a linear Boolean combination. A product good uh, collections are good for some other except it is called the task second principle and S one is made Finite unions of points and open intervals. So, this kind of axiomatic is uh, absolutely out of the scope of constructive mathematics. But uh, you can, uh, instead of a divide of a definable subset, you can speak about getting a continuous function. And so you get axioms that are, let's see, that are candidates for a more or less good description of the object. But uh, it's really working for this. You don't go where. So thanks. Can you say again which functions you want to choose uh, in the type uh, i and y? Uh, you said uh, in the case of uh, only real proceeds, they are semi algebraic continuous functions. But they have to, to come with their continuous modules, which is also a continuous semi uh, algebraic function. Uh, the question regarding the omega rule, yeah. um, would it be a possibility to instead add um, an inductive definition, so least fixed points, would it completely spoil the system instead of having infinite value? So uh, you have to find it. Because I, I don't know sufficiently <laughs> well uh, if you need to add to my stories. But uh, I see that uh, what we have uh, written in our book is more or less uh, pass to infinitary. Because infinitary is not very constructive, you must uh, say, 
Yeah, what is the meaning of